everyone! Welcome back to How Inez Rolls. I'm going to give you a super easy breakfast idea for all the moms out there. So if you need an idea, moms, you can forward this video to boys in your life. I'm gonna get started making the very easiest bagels I've ever seen. I need to get started. I came across this recipe. I haven't made it, but I'm so excited to try it. And I love bagels. And this is actually a pretty easy recipe. Also, not bad on the health because it's made with two ingredients. Can you believe it? Two ingredients. Now you're probably thinking, what are those two ingredients? I'll show you in a second. But also I'm gonna show you a my one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast, and it's bagels, of course. Everything bagels, but I'm gonna show you how I put it together. So I'm hoping these bagels will come out delicious and I can't wait to try. So you're gonna need to get your, I need to bring out the big guns today, my mixer. So if you have a mixer, get that ready because you'll need that. So let me get um, Greek yogurt and self-rising flour. So this recipe, super easy, two ingredients, and it's just gonna be a cup of self-rising flour, and of course, the yogurt. Um, plain, you don't want vanilla flavored because that would be weird, right, in your bagels. I might like it, I don't know. But what we're gonna do is put those two ingredients in the mixer on a with a hook paddle, and just let it go until you start getting a dough. You may need to add a little bit of the flour if it's too sticky but I got this recipe from the DIY Mommy, and I'm going to link that post in my description box so you can go right to the recipe, but really super easy. I'm gonna show you step-by-step, step, and I'll also be giving some great tips for Mother's Day. So I already have my flour in here, and I'm just gonna add the yogurt. So easy, and I even, my favorite bagel is the everything bagel. Let me know in the comments what yours is. My kids really just like jam and butter on a plain bagel. So I'm gonna make a couple of these plain and I'll make a couple of these with the everything seasoning, which I got from Trader Joe's. So this will be perfect. I haven't even opened it yet. So this will be a wonderful way to use it. So I'm just gonna get this mixed up. I may need to add a little bit of dough, but I'll bring you closer to what it looks like when it's fully formed. Okay, it was a little bit runny, so I added about another tablespoon. Just kind of uh, use a spoon and put a little bit more flour in there. And I think it's ready. So we're going to um, divide that into four equal parts. So I put it on the board, I dusted it a little bit, and now that'll make it much easier to make four easy parts. I'll bring you closer because I'll show you what I'm doing and I'm so excited. So let me tell you first, it does have a smell of um, Greek yogurt. So if you're not a fan of Greek yogurt, this may not be your favorite recipe, but if you're willing to try it, I know that it is, um, it's kind of recommended for light eating and Weight Watchers sponsor some of these recipes. So this may be something you may want to try for leaner eating anyways. Um, I know certain um, brands of yogurt, of the Greek yogurt, might have more of a mild taste. So you could do some research for that. So I'm going to bring you closer. So I have my hands are a little dusted and all I'm going to do is make it into a rope. You may need to get a little bit more dusting going on as it might be a little more stickier than you probably want it to be, like right in here. So I might get a little bit more. Let me get a couple more. Like a little pile. I like to have a little pile anyways while I'm doing these things, just for my fingers. And so I'm going to make this into a awesome bagel. Amazing. And then I'm gonna put it on my parchment paper over here. Oh, I am, I love bagels, I love pretzels. I know I have a recipe from one of the viewers that had, it was a pretzel recipe. I still have it. I'm going to do it one day, but this is awesome to me. Just whisking a whole egg right now because I'm going to coat these um, bagels so they have a nice little shine to them. And then it also work as a way to um, 
keep the seasoning to stick to it too. So if you don't have one of these little uh, silicone brushes, that's totally fine. In the past, I've even used a paper towel, honestly. Just kind of watch for the crumbles. <laughs> so these are looking awesome. I never knew you could do that with two ingredients. So I'm gonna probably play with the seasonings and make sure and make some different kinds in the future and maybe even try them putting them in the freezer so they're just go-to um, for breakfasts in the morning. But I think this is a lovely Mother's Day um, breakfast for your moms, for your grandmothers, aunts, whichever. If you're having a get together, maybe even a brunch, that this would be a really great idea. All right, it's ready for seasonings. I got this, like I said, from Trader Joe's. It's awesome, everything but the bagel. <laughs> and I'm also gonna make a couple plain ones here for the kids so we can try them. Now I have an oven ready to go, 375 degrees, and I'm only gonna cook them for 25 minutes. Ooh. While I have the bagels in the oven, let me talk to the dads out there, brothers, uncles, grandpas, whoever out there, the guys. So the big secret is attention. They just want attention. The women in your life, the girls, because they will be probably a mother one day, the attention. So even attention to detail. If your wife is in charge of the home, then do the home for her. If your wife is working, get her flowers that day. Make a little arrangement. I'll link a video here if you're feeling creative and want to make something for her. By all means, those are some of the really nice touches. Plus, and for me personally, it's the cleaning. I mean, it's like one of my least favorite things to do, but I do it. And so that day, of course, cleaning and cooking for me would be awesome. So having a breakfast like this, awesome. Having a dinner planned and prepared, wonderful. If you want to give gifts, a double awesome. I mean, it's not necessary. Homemade gifts are also pretty nice from the kids as well. So I hope that gives you some ideas. It's the attention. So I hope that helps. And let me get back to the recipe. Let's talk ingredients or toppings for your bagels. So I'm one who loves veggies. So I would love like tomatoes, chopped cucumbers, and my very favorite is lemon pepper on top of it all. So I'll show you that version. But if your wife or you know the woman, the mother of your family doesn't care for savory, then you can do sweet, which is um, some cream cheese and then some jam on top. That is delicious as well. So I'm gonna cut this tomato up and I'll bring you closer as soon as those bagels come out. I just took these out of the oven. They smell so good. They look delicious. And um, I probably pulled them out at 22 minutes of 25. So just to kind of keep that in mind, you may need to watch it those last few minutes. So I can't wait. So I'm just gonna let these cool down just a little bit and then I'm gonna put my toppings on them. But if you are cooking them up from room temperature, you may want to slice them in half and put them in the toaster to get nice and toasty and get ready for a yummy breakfast. But notice there's more here, not just for mom, it's for everybody. So I've already cut them in half. They are still a little bit warm, so I probably should have let them cool down a little bit more, but that's okay because I don't tend to put a lot of cream cheese on mine. And so I'm just gonna show you how I, I add a little bit of lemon pepper on this. So good. And then of course, tomatoes i these are my favorite when i used to get these in california it was called the california bagel when i moved to nevada they had no idea what i was talking about so i just usually bring my own lemon pepper when i am going to a bagel place and ta -da. so i'm going to make this a little bit pretty for display but i will show you in a minute and then let's do another variation I have, um, I'll put butter on one side 
and cream cheese on the other. And then we'll put jam on these and then we'll let everybody in my family even try them. So this is gonna be so good. And I love it. I, you know, because I love bagels so much, I really should have learned how to make them myself. But this is the best recipe I think for our family. There's my jam. I just made some new jam last, a couple of days ago. Yum, yum. What do you guys think so far? Do you think this is gonna be a hit with your mothers? And I'm just gonna cut them. Okay, well, I got a taste tester. What do you think? Mm, that's good. So good, I can't wait to try mine. So let me get in my, I'm gonna dress the plate Oh, I think Ezra's ready to try his too. Or Ezra, what you think, Ezra? Mm. Do you like that? That would be good for breakfast, huh? But today we're talking Mother's Day, so it's gonna be very good for Mother's Day. So I got some uh, cantaloupe just from the store. Easy to dress up, didn't have to do work. So this is semi-homemade. <laughs> and then of course we can't forget a sweet treat. So I found this little cake at the store. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece for the Mother's Day treat because it has to have a little treat. Am I right? Mm -mm. Tuck down, look at that. This is definitely a breakfast that your mother will love. It's my turn to taste. Mmm, -mm. just like I always known they would taste. My favorite bagel, delicious. And now I can't wait to finish it. Thanks for stopping by and visiting this video. Give it a thumbs up if it's something that you think you might make in the future. Even if it isn't for Mother's Day, it would make an awesome breakfast. So tasty, so yummy, and only two ingredients. Can't beat that. So I hope that this video had some good suggestions for you. I'm grateful to all of you and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye everyone.